kind of what it stands for that's why you saw the thumbnail change but I'll show you what we're doing today we've done a lot of things just random little things to the car to make it more livable when we're driving so I'll swing the camera around and show you a few of them there things all right gentlemen so here's what we have going on today right now as you can see I have the car masked off um, before I had it masked off, I cleaned the rust off this spot. And then I masked, I used a wire wheel and a drill, whatever. And then I masked it off. And then I used the Harbor Freight little sandblast dealy. But I did not use the walnut, as you guys saw in the previous videos. And I put some actual silica in there and blasted us the... the the spot clean so then what I did was I took a bottle of this ancient shit from like 1960 or 70 this chem grip chem prep metal cleaner and prepare and it says on it it's an etching liquid for aluminum steel and galvanized metals so I wiped it down with that once the metal was clear and then, masked it off. Where's my cans of stuff? So then the first, excuse the shaky camera there, guys. I'm looking for bottles of things. Here we go. <coughs> so then, once it was etched with that chem whatever bottle from the, like the 1960s, or wherever the hell it is from, I know it's been around for a long time around here, floating around. But uh, I have a bottle of this self-etching primer. So the foundational coat that I put on, I think I put on two coats of this. So I put two foundation coats of this, really light, you know, sprayed them down. And uh, got that, waited about five or ten minutes between coats, let it dry. And that's what I've been doing with the uh, coat it's at now. And then... I went to this, which is a filler primer. And then I sprayed it with a couple coats of that. Let it dry. And then now, what we're on is this. It's hard to show you these things. This is... Paint code 230 from a 1999 Saab, which is Scarab Green Metallic. So this spray can has the metallic and the car color all built in. And you can go to any place that sells car paint. Well, not any place, but the places around here. You can get a spray bomb like this of your car's paint. Like, straight match. If you look on your car and find, or look up your car and find the paint code. Let me see if I can show that to you. It's hard to do with this light. See there, right there it says OEM code 230, and then right below that says the description Scarab Green Metallic. And then that's what this car is, is the Scarab Green Metallic. I have about one, maybe, I'll put on probably two more coats. This is almost dry and ready for another coat. I am not sanding between coats. So, that's why I'm just putting it on light. Putting it on light and then uh, 
just spraying a couple more coats on. Now if I get in there, you see, see how it's all pocky. That's where the rust was. I was going to put Bondo on that and do a lot of extra work, but I'm like, you know, screw it. I want it to look nice, but I don't want to take forever to do it. I just don't want it to rust through because down there, down here by the wheels, the corners and the wheel wells are, are completely rusted out. But this spot, that's a more... It's a more important spot to not have rust out. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to spray one more coat on here. Maybe two. Probably two. But, uh, and then I'll get back with you and show you some other things. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's my rear view mirror. And right next to it is my radar detector that I made the bracket for. And then I hid the wiring up through here all the way down and then it's way down here on the dash so inside the dash somewhere so the wire goes all the way down and round and when you turn the car on uh it gets constant power so let's see let's see if it'll come on so you can hear it testing system ready and there it was testing system ready and we were listening to a loop and then that little ding, that doorbell sound. Let me turn the radio off here. I was testing the CD player. So that little doorbell sound was it Bluetoothing to my phone. So it does have, and then we'll click it off. It does have uh, Bluetooth capabilities. And then there we go. Goes right away. So got to take the key out so the radio shuts off. Don't want it to drain the bat tray. But yeah, let me see if I can get a shot of it from up here. Wipe the dust off. We've been working on her. I don't know if you can see that. Heck no. Let me try a lamp here. One of these great Harbor Freight ones. There we go. That's a little better. Yep, there is the radar detector. And I don't know the laws in your state, gentlemen. But, or wherever you are in the world, but here uh, in the wonderful Mitten State, we can have radar detectors. So every little bit of help counts when it comes to the county mounties. Uh, let me see. Can't really see it. Yeah. But I bent, I bent the bracket myself. Let me see. There we go. So there's the bracket I bent. It goes up into the headliner about three or four inches and just slots right into the radar detector itself. And positioning of radar detectors, I used to have it sitting on my dash somewhere over there in the other car by the uh, speaker. And, you know, it gets good range, all that stuff, but that extra foot, two, two and a half feet gets it up there. The radar detector can see a little farther away and give you a little more jump. Because those, those couple of seconds could be the difference between getting pulled over and getting a ticket or not. So I got her up there and she's out of the way off the dash. <coughs> and then down here, you can see we got installed a really nice phone holder here for hands-free goodness. It runs back down there and it's latched in. Over here, we're trying to uh, fix the Jalousi, but it is a null effort. Uh, over here, we're trying to fix the uh, boot for the ship uh, e brake. That's a null effort as well. So we're going to have to just live with those things, I think. But, anyways, guys, I'm going to go spray this and I'll talk to you soon. All right, gentlemen, as you can see on the Sabi, there are two fog lights buttons. That is not stock. And there's a big old push button right here. Let me see if I can push it with the lamp. Just like that. Momentary. Does not latch. This one down here latches. Let me see if I can get the lamp in here. There we go. So that locks in. That locks in, and that's momentary. And what that does, let me click on the car again. 
Let me show you. So if you look over here, this relay, let me see, this is hard to do. Let me turn off the blower first so we don't kill the battery more. So now I'm gonna push the momentary button. As you can hear, the relay is clicking. And then I push the other button on the bottom and that clicks. That was the uh, radar detector. If you heard that little alarm noise, that was the car radar detector saying the car voltage is low. It has monitoring functions as well. But anyway, so if you hear the clicking, that latches in this relay. If you push the button, the instant button, that's just a momentary what that for is I haven't gotten it installed yet I haven't even picked out one but that's for an extra set of uh, LED driving light like the light bar style I'm gonna put it behind one of the grills in the car for when I'm out in the woods driving around doing whatever so that's another thing that needs to be ordered once I get another paycheck so a beautiful thing and then the top the middle button between the momentary and the latching is for the actual factory fog light so it'll be a bright little thing once we get it if we turn on the high beams the fog lights and the driving light we'll be able to see pretty damn far so no deer will be able to jump out in front of us if we're driving in the country or up in the woods, the forest, whatever, so. All right, gentlemen, I know it's hard to see, but there's another code on there. I think one or two, I think two more coats, because the last coat just covered up the primer coat. So that was three coats, I believe, maybe four. So we will add two more coats and then probably give it a little wet sanding or something after it dries real good and then a, a clear coat so i don't want to sand through the paint so i don't know i'm gonna do some research remember it's been a long time since i've done any body work but you know this will keep the rust away hopefully for at least a couple years I can just resurf redo it once it starts coming back paint code is 230 we know the paint code so if we need more paint just go get more paint all that good stuff so and remember always turn your cans upside down and spray them push the nozzle and spray out all the all the stuff in the in the can so then you can uh your can will still work later on. So, any of you guys, if I come up with some other things to show you, I will. All right, gentlemen. So, one of the last things I also did was make an L pad for both of the dash, upper dash speakers, left and right. I don't have the center dash speaker in because I can't find a two and a half inch speaker right now. It's a little tiny thing. I'll, I'll find one here, here sooner or later. But, uh, Basically an L pad. I got a good deal on some resistors. It's basically three resistors. So there's two in series in the positive, and then jumping from the positive to the negative is another resistor. So the resistors you use are two ohm resistors, and I found some 10 watt two ohm wire round wire round resistors that's a tongue twister isn't it i found some resistors like that on ebay or amazon or something for like six bucks for ten of them so my first prototype i uh kind of messed it up but the other day i made a really nice set of them so 
I soldered them all up, covered them in the uh, shrink shrink tube, and got them going and installed them. And they seem to work pretty good. I got to dial in the stereo a little bit better for the car, but other than that, you know, she's getting there. Um, what else? I don't know if I showed it in a different video, but I also installed a uh, ram air into the uh, air box instead of the little st straw that the uh, stock was. So I just got to put a cover on that, like a screen, so like birds don't get sucked in and shit like that. So other than that, guys, stay safe out there. And as always, Carlos.